Fallout 2 just got a re-release. Well, sort of. This is the Fallout 2 Community Edition, running on a PS Vita. And the only things you're going to need for it are a legal copy of Fallout 2 from either Steam or GOG, as well as a PS Vita that you can install homebrewed apps on. Now this is early days still, as the Vita port only released a couple of days ago of me recording this. Although saying that, I didn't experience any bugs in my time playing with it. But anyways, let's move on to how to install it, which is actually incredibly simple. What you're going to want to do is find your way to one of the two GitHub pages which will be linked below. The only difference between these is the controls. One of them uses touchscreen controls, whereas the other one uses the left joystick. Now once you're on the GitHub page, move over to the releases folder and make sure you download the VPK file. From here you're going to want to connect your PS Vita and then just drag and drop the VPK file into it. And after that, go onto your Vita, run the VPK file, but you're not done yet. What you'd want to do after that is navigate into your PS Vita's data folder, create a new folder titled Fallout 2, all in lowercase, no spaces, and from there make your way to your Fallout 2 install. For Steam this is as simple as right clicking and pressing browse local files. From here you're going to want to grab the data folder the sound folder, the critter.dat, the master.dat, and the patch000.dat, and just copy and paste them into your newly created Fallout 2 folder on your PS Vita. From there, you're pretty much done. You can now play Fallout 2 on your PS Vita. And this is amazing because even your PC saves carry over so you can pick up right where you left off. But anyways, that's going to be it for this today. I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you all next time.